opening up of uh, blockages of any vessel by means of balloon is known as angioplasty i am dr rajiv rathi senior cardiologist director and head trans radial intervention program max hospital saket new delhi we know that the coronary artery disease is rampant in our country first of all we should know what is coronary artery disease heart is a muscular pump and it it requires blood to sustain its, its activity this blood is being provided by means of arteries and these arteries are known as coronary arteries whenever the blockage occurs in these arteries we call it as a coronary artery disease the blockages they hamper the blood circulation of muscles and that's how the functioning of heart get disturbed in order to restore that we need to maintain a proper flow and for that you require angioplasty coronary angioplasty can be of two type that is one is if someone is getting acute heart attack because of the sudden occlusion of one of the blood vessel which is supplying blood to the muscles of heart when you open a totally occluded artery in a setting of severe chest pain which is an emergency then this type of angioplasty is known as a primary angioplasty and another angioplasty jo, uh, the conventional angioplasty what we say is angioplasty in which someone is coming with a positive tmt positive stress test or someone is coming with a effort related chest pain in that situation if you do the angiogram and find the blockages you do the angioplasty that is a regular angioplasty there is a difference in between these two in primary angioplasty usually you don't have time you have to take decision quick in order to save the muscles of heart and in other angioplasty regular angioplasty or uh, even after doing angiogram one can have time one can discuss with the relatives and friends and then can take a call regarding the angioplasty now we should know how we do the angioplasty angioplasty is done either through the wrist or through the groin we take the excess majority of time we take the excess from the wrist and here we put a local anesthesia and then we puncture the radial artery and we insert the sheath and through this sheath we pass over all the guide wires balloon and catheter so first we take the guide guiding catheter through the sheath we hook the artery visualize where is the blockage and then we pass wire through that blockage and over that wire we pass our balloon and we dilate the lesion and once the lesion is dilated we place the stent and again we dilate uh, that particular stent and that's how the angioplasty is being done but many a times there can be a lot of calcium and the anatomy is not great you can have a bifurcation type of lesions where at times we feel that we should have a some modality by which we can see inside the coronary artery and we take a proper decision regarding calcium fibrous tissue or suppose someone has already had one stent in pass to see whether that stent is properly expanded or not for this we pass a ultrasound catheter inside the coronary artery and we see how uh, the blockages are there whether there is a calcium or not and if there is a, a lot of calcium we can choose our modality uh, differently we can use a, a balloon uh, which uh, which emits the ultrasound waves and cracks the calcium or that is known as ivl or intravascular lithotripsy or we can use a rotablation which is a uh, rotating diamond burr and which drills inside the coronary artery and clear the calcium and that's how uh, we make the passage and uh, then we do the balloon dilatation and place the stent that's that is in nutshell in very in simple language how we do the angioplasty now question comes uh, whether angioplasty is required for each and every patient then answer is no it depends on the patient's uh, physical profile patient's symptomatology functioning of the heart all these factors are taken together for making the diagnosis 
and then taking the decision of angioplasty usually uh, after angioplasty patient is discharged within one or two days means he has to stay in the hospital one or two nights in majority of cases after two nights patient is being discharged but nowadays if angioplasty is straightforward means there is no complication and lesion is uh, simple then patient can be discharged on the same day after the angioplasty after angioplasty uh, patient if there is a uh, not much problem functioning of heart is good and uh, patient is uh, patient did not have any complication during the procedure after 2 th- to 3 days patient can resume his uh, normal day to day activity means patient can even go to the office and can do his stable uh, work without any problem and because of all these advantages uh, angioplasty is has gained lot of popularity whenever your doctor is saying that your patient is having acute heart attack it is my humble request in that scenario please do not ask multiple question to your doctor doctor will let you know after the angiogram that whether your patient is having uh, 99 to 100% blockages in one artery or two artery or three arteries and he will take a appropriate call according to the situation if you delay the decision of doing the angioplasty if someone is getting acute heart attack it means you are delaying the reperfusion or delaying the blood supply to the dying muscles and once the muscles of heart dies they will not regenerate and this damage is always permanent and this results in reduction in the pumping capacity of heart which is not a good in long term so it is my humble request that whenever his doctor is saying that your patient has acute heart attack please go with the advice of doctor and give your consent immediately so your patient is going to have a wonderful outcome thank you very much